Hey everybody, welcome to the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. I'm Professor Klein. Today I want to bring you a video on blood flow of the heart. All right, and if you want a refresher on the anatomy of the heart, there's a video for that. Or if you want to know about the coronary blood vessels, coronary arteries and veins of the heart, there's another video for that. But this video is specifically for the blood flow of the heart. So when we normally talk about the blood flow, we normally start in the right side. So let's start up here in the superior and inferior vena cava. So superior and inferior vena cava. Now the superior ha actually has the brachiocephalic veins flowing into it, but eventually everything flows back into this right atrium. So we got the right atrium here and blood would then fill up and push open this valve. This is the right side of the heart. So this would be the right atrioventricular valve. Here we can see it right here right atrioventricular valve, also called the tricuspid valve. It's got three cusps, tricuspid valve. Now we're in the right ventricle. Notice it's a little bit thicker with the walls of the myocardium and the blood would travel upwards, whoops, upwards through the pulmonic valve or right semilunar valve out the pulmonary trunk. Once you go out the pulmonary trunk, you're going to the right and left pulmonary arteries. It's blue because it's deoxygenated and it's an artery because it's going away from the heart. Now, where is it going? It's going out to the lungs here. So let me grab the lungs. Here we go. Bring it on over. It's the lung model for you. And here you can see those arteries and veins going into the actual lung tissue to pick up oxygen and get rid of CO2. But after you go arterioles, capillaries, venules, and jump on to the pulmonary veins, here we can see two pulmonary veins on this side, these red items here, as well as the other pulmonary veins on the other side. Now, where are they going? They are going into the left atrium, left side now, left atrium and then pushes open this left atrioventricular valve this is also called bicuspid also called the mitral valve so by two cusps for this valve and as it travels down into the left ventricle it's the thickest myocardium of all the heart which why is the myocardium thicker in certain chambers well, it has to do with where does that blood have to travel? For the left ventricle, it pumps it out to the rest of the body and it has the furthest to travel. So it's got the thickest myocardium, just like the second thickest would be the right ventricle, but it just has to pump it to the lungs. So it's not nearly as thick as the left. Now let's finish up here as so we're talking about the aortic valve. Look deep within there, that's the aortic valve also called the left semilunar valve, which would come up and pump it out the base of the aorta into the aortic arch. Now it also could come out to the coronary arteries and supply the actual heart with blood, or it could go out to the rest of the body. Once it's done with the rest of the body, it comes back the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava and back to the right atrium. That is the blood flow of the heart. But last thing I wanna tell you is in reality, blood would be filling up and pumping through the right side. And at the same time, blood would be filling up and pumping through the left side. So they're very synchronous and how the left and the right sides work of the heart. And that was your quick video on the blood flow of the heart. Thanks for watching.